Today's episode, episode five, we're going to talk about how to create wallscape billboards for long-term revenue that you can actually retire on. Stay tuned. here with Acklin Media Frames. Once again, we are the trade-only manufacturer of the number one attachment system for flex face vinyl on walls and trucks and just about any surface where you want to put some big graphics. Today, what we're going to talk about is one question. One question is uh, that we get a lot is how do I, how can I build my business with these things? I love that question. Our clients, our sign professionals, our entrepreneurs. You're probably an entrepreneur if you're watching this. And I love that question because that's really what it's all about is how do we increase our business? How do we do better with what we have? And what uh, I want to tell you about today, this is going to be probably only the first segment in this because there's a lot to talk about. It's a whole new profit center. It's a whole new revenue stream. And it requires a little bit of a shift in your thinking, but I hope you'll bear with me because it is worth it. Okay, what we've got here is how to create wallscape billboards for long-term revenue. That's the general topic that we're gonna talk about today. Creating ad space, creating a visual that people see when they go by and it's so valuable because there's so many people going by that someone else is more than happy to pay for it and not just one time, but pay for it on a regular basis because they are buying the exposure. They're buying the eyeballs. They're buying the targetability of that location to the masses, to the public, who happens to be the target market for their product. So all you signage guys out there, you gotta shift your thinking a little bit. I wanna just talk about, uh, I wanna co contrast a couple things. One of them is uh, signage sales, okay? and I wanna compare it to advertising sales. And I'm gonna to submit to you that advertising is the big picture, where signs, as much as we love signs and banners and visual communications, they are a means to an end. They're a language, they're a, a means of speaking to people. So it's about visual communications and signs just happens to be a great way to do it. But I wanna take it up a notch and talk about the value of advertising. And there's such a difference that um, we, we, we have to go beyond seeing ourselves as product salespeople. We have to go beyond seeing ourselves, let's say, as signage salesmen or saleswomen. We have to go to uh, what I, I like to say is we're success brokers. Maybe it sounds a little corny, but that is a fact because every visual communications out there, every sign out there has a message and the message is to help people usually to find something that will enhance or improve their life and thereby will help the person that, um, that owns that sign, the business owner or the sign company. So I'd like to ask you for the sake of this discussion is to transition from thinking that we sell signs to we are success brokers. Zig Ziglar, one of my favorites of all time, he's like my grandpa, he used to say, you can get everything in life you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. And that's what it's all about, that's what we do. So if you look at it as the messages that we produce on poles and banners and, and walls and vehicles and all those places where we produce them is a means to success for our customer, that we truly wanna help our customer do better. We want to help them prosper. We want to help them get more business and en enhance their image and, and all those things. Then you realize you're a success broker, not just a sign sales person or sales outlet. Okay, that being said, I want to look at the contrast between selling signs and selling advertising. All right, so, so let's talk about the difference for a minute. When people buy signs, they buy a sign, they usually buy one sign one time. And that's it, they got their sign. When people buy advertising, they buy it over and over and over. If you think about it, people and companies have advertising budgets. They don't usually have ongoing sign budgets. Signage is sold based on a price. It's kind of sold based on a commodity. Well, if I can get that kind of sign, how much is it? How many times have you had somebody come and say, how much, how much, how much? 
And maybe they even take your bid to somebody else and go, hey, can you beat this? Or maybe they bring someone else's bid to you and go, can you beat this? Can you beat this? And they become very price conscious, which affects our margin. And, you know, that's just business. That's the way it is. Signage is, is sold on a, a price or a commodity basis based on material and labor and profit margin. Advertising is not. Advertising is sold on one factor, which is eyeballs, uh, exposure, the number of people that are going to see that ad. That's what determines the price. Billboards, they have a CPM, cost per thousand. And the better the cost per thousand, the better uh, return on your investment you're going to get for that type of advertising. Signs are usually a one-time purchase. Advertising tend to recur beyond a quarterly or a monthly or an annual basis. So that's a good thing right there. If you can transition from I just sell signs to really I'm a messaging company and I advertise and I sell advertising for people, it's going to help you with this concept that I want to talk to you about today, which is Wallscape billboards for long-term revenue. Now, we're talking about Wallscapes, but let's be clear. You can put the same concept or you can apply the same concept to mobile advertising because that wallscape could really be on a truck then it would be a truck side advertising or it could be on any surface where there's people that's kind of what we're talking about okay so consider wallscape advertising as a business opportunity as entrepreneurs and business owners we're always looking for better opportunities when you look at a business opportunity there are several factors that you want to consider number one is upfront cost can I afford to do this? And if I can, how much is it going to be? Got to get that established. And if it's a little lower on the front end, that's obviously advantageous in many ways. Another one is what kind of a return am I going to get on that upfront investment? Does it have a good return, good ROI? Another one is what kind of risk is involved? What do I stand to lose if I go down this road with this particular business opportunity? Okay, another one is competitive analysis well what kind of competition is there if I undertake this new business opportunity and actually there's two more that I want to talk about one of them is how profitable is this business opportunity this revenue stream that I'm seeking to create how profitable is it and what's the long-term potential what's the long-term possibility for me to have an ongoing repeat residual revenue stream from the effort that I'm going to put in as I launch this new business opportunity. So there's seven factors really that we're going to talk about with regard to these Wallscape billboards. But I'm telling you, the opportunity is there. You can get out there and all the answers to those seven considerations are in your favor, especially if you're an entrepreneur and double especially if you happen to be in the sign business, you're going to love this. Okay, so those are the main components of this discussion that we're going to have. I would, I'm going to cover them in future episodes, but there's two things I want to ask you to do. One is go to the website and download the ebook. If you go to acklandmediaframes.com, go to resources, you'll see ebooks, you'll find an ebook that says Wallscape Billboards for Long Term Revenue. Fill out the form, download that, you'll have that. Study it and let's talk about this because when you own your own inventory of billboards, in effect, whether they're small, large, wherever they happen to be, and you own part of that, that's your media company. Now you are going to be the recipient of repeat revenues and you may have some partners and different things but we're going to get into all that for now just get the ebook and tune in next week thanks for watching